Chapter 23, the new scriptures as given by Jesus, Sananda. Transcribed by Catherine E. May, PSYD, November 15th, 2013. This is the week you will remember for eternity. Your soul work has led you to the most remarkable time and place, the shift into higher gear, the preparation of your earth ascension, it is a magnificent endeavor we have undertaken. We join together with Mother Earth, all the kingdoms of Earth, and all humanity to create a completely new experience which all the cosmos witnesses with great interest. Why have we, why have we undertaken this great project in spite of its levels of difficulty? Perhaps it is like the old Mount Everest commitment by Sir Edmund Hillary, because it is there, because we are adventurers, dreamers, and explorers. We hatched this plan together, you know, along with the participation of your beloved Mother Earth. She is the pivotal element in all of this, of course. Without her, equally enthusiastic agreement, we could not have considered something so daring. You see, planets usually ascend on their own by making the decision and raising themselves up to a higher level of dimension. Not this time. Our agreement is that we will all go together, planet and all its inhabitants in harmony. This is a difficult task for you, ascending to a higher dimension, but I would like to give you an, an idea of just how challenging it is for your dear planet. It is customary for a planet to simply go through the transition phase of leaping across dimensions while quaking, shaking, flipping on its axis, cleansing itself of all the residue of past civilizations. It is, in most cases, the inhabitants are taken elsewhere for safety for a period of years. Not this time. We decided amongst ourselves to create a new way to evolve to a higher, to higher dimensions in concert, and in doing so, will we, we will all accomplish a new form of harmony in the cosmos. We have all heard about the concept that we are interconnected, but in your 3D lives, it was not at all clear to you how deeply we are intertwined, how powerfully we influence one another. This is changing as the veil is lifting and the cause and effect relationships of daily life become more obvious. The energies on the planet have brought the action reaction event sequence to nearly zero point. That is no space time between an action and the result. A smile brings positive results and insult brings darkness on the attacker. The adage, you create your intentions is now fully operational and speeding up every day. You are being prepared for the new experience of fifth dimensional creativity when you will be able to think create as one interconnected step. It is training for the proverbial be careful of what you ask for condition you will learn to enjoy in the near future. Yes, you, all of you who are alive now on the planet will experience the new golden age if you wish to remain alive for the final curtain. I did say, if you wish to remain alive for a reason, you have a choice. You may either raise your vibration to the fifth dimensional level, or you may leave the planet in the usual way by going through the death process. Anyone who is still breathing in this week of November 15, 2013 will be able to complete the ascension process now. There will be some who will leave the planet before ascension for various reasons. Mostly, it will be because the higher self does not believe the individual is ready 
to leave the incarnation process to take up residence in the higher dimensions and wants the soul to complete further training elsewhere. Any arrangement that suits the individual soul is acceptable and will not be judged in any way. Of course, we are always encouraged to stretch in order to grow, but the understanding is that motivation and good intentions cannot take the place of living out many complex and challenging lifetimes. When the first wave of ascenders leave for their rejuvenation and training, a great shift will take place on the planet for their return will cause greater wonder and excitement. For those on the ground, it will occur instantaneously. The one who has achieved heightened consciousness will seem to have sudden, suddenly transformed because the trip to higher dimensions occurs outside of the time. The entire process of going to the light chambers to be renewed and the training in how to live in the fifth dimension, an important part of the process, will be completed in what seems like the blink of an eye, if that is what the ascender chooses. To the doubters left behind, it will seem like magic, and when they discover that large numbers of people have accomplished this magic, it will stir their desire to be a part of such a phenomenal experience. How could anyone resist being curious about what happened to create such a transformation? It will be a great, it will be the great entry into teaching what higher dimensions are really like, what the sensations and thought transformations occurring in the light chambers were. Of course, there will be thousands describing the same thing in individual ways, but it will be impossible to continue to believe it is not a real event. I want, of all, I want all of you to know, without a doubt, that the times they are a changing. There is no going back now. All systems are go. The work of St. Germain has come to fruition and a new kind of prosperity and peace will blossom on the planet in the coming days and months. People helping people, not just governments struggling to cope without the funds to provide the most basic services for their citizens. Power is being returned to the people from economic to political power for they are one and the same. The noisy propaganda machine will become less a driver of social opinion as the people awaken to reach into their own hearts to find their own truth. Many of those who have been co-opted by negative commentary, especially against the new health care program in the U.S., have been tricked into voting against their own best interests. It was in an interim step on the way to universal health care, which is a sensible idea once the countries of the world have the funds to support a more benevolent way of life. It is the only practical way to provide for all, to pull resources to take, care, to take care of the weakest among you. You cannot expect any for-profit insurance company to take care of its subscribe, subscribers at the cost of its shareholders. It simply goes against logic and any good business plan to do so. The saying, business is business, is absolutely true, and medical care should not be included in any business model, nor should education of the arts be brought under the umbrella of for-profit business. It has had a suffocating effect on all of these basic creative human endeavors to include them in the race to skim off all the wealth in support of the most powerful ones on the planet. This will be completely changed when you see the NESARA 
laws implemented. I will not go into detail here because you will soon be given a complete thorough education on what these laws entail and how they will benefit everyone equally. It has always been the business of healers and spiritual leaders to be concerned with the leadership of their nations. Your beloved Martin Luther King is a recent example. And of course, in my life as Jesus, I was in direct opposition to the Roman political structure which curtailed the freedom of the people, especially in its advanced stages. This is, of course, the reason why so many spiritual leaders have been persecuted through the ages, because we stood for freedom. It is the psychological and spiritual freedom of the people which is so crucial to maintaining political freedom. This is why we will make the books and writings to all which are given on the website www.whoneedslight.org available to all around the world for little or no cost. The book Who Needs Light will be available in ebook as will be the collection when God pinched my toe. We have encouraged people. To have the actual book. For these writings whenever possible. But we are working to instill our energy and blessings into the electronic versions. As we. <clears throat> as we have. With the paper copy. Who Needs Light is the book Mother God called A Manual for Ascension because it concentrates on winning back your psychological freedom. When God Pinched My Toe is the collection of messages from Mother God, Mother Father God, which concentrates on spiritual development in the context of cosmic truth called the Truth Way and any messages. The new scriptures are my personal messages to the people of planet Earth to correct the misconceptions and distortions in the messages which were written, not by me, about my teachings as Jesus. Together they form a trilogy of truth, the fundamental information you will need to accomplish your ascension. We do not encourage you from searching other resources to learn from other ascended masters, other planetary sources, and other kingdoms. It is also important to know some of the physics, the ast astronomy, astronomy, and the illogical interplay of the systems of the cosmos. What we have given here are the keys for your personal development, which of course is what ascension is all about. You must learn to live in your hearts rather than relying on the thinking which has been distorted by centuries of dark influences. Trust in your hearts, listen to the inner voice of your own higher self, and we will be here to help you at every turn in the road to help lift you over every obstacle in your path. Look upward, beloved ones. We are here now in your skies awaiting our joyful reunion. We will not be dissuaded and we will not flag in our commitment to helping you to bring your own freedom and prosperity to fruition. Send us your prayers, your songs. We are listening, applauding your hard work and we will be able and be here for you always, whether in spirit or in body. We love you beyond measure. I look forward to our coming into celebration, into touching your hands and looking into your eyes. I am your devoted Sananda. 
transcribed by Catherine E. May, November 15, 2013, 12 p.m. Cleveland, Ohio.